So Jeff, what was life like in the sales process for you before you met the closing room? Yeah, so we've got a firm of 26 attorneys and we're strictly family law and we do fixed fee, which is a real challenge to sell fixed fee because you are essentially quoting a number that's much higher than what the retainer people will charge their clients initially. So getting clients to understand, potential clients to understand what our service looks like compared to the other guys and how they're different and how it benefits them to go with fixed fees is a real challenge. So we've always been very lumpy in our sales conversion over the years, very, very volatile, up one month, down the next month. And one of the factors that has led to that has been attorney time availability, number one, in getting in the console room, but number two, they get busy. And so when they get busy, they just tend to naturally follow human nature and let down a little bit on wanting to fill their pipeline back up just because they're so focused on right then and there taking care of their clients. So we've been struggling with that for years and it's held us back from forecasting on our business planning. And it's always been a real challenge for us from a financial standpoint and maintaining our cash flow and maintaining that equilibrium. So then we could make decisions financially off of that. So struggle with that. And then I end up finding what you guys are doing in a podcast with Michael and I knew right away, I wanted to give it a shot. So we brought it into our firm about four and a half weeks ago. It took us about two months to kind of get it implemented because we have a a you know a pretty large organization, relatively speaking. So we've got a lot of just moving pieces. We needed to coordinate all of those. Michael, I think I told you that I heard your podcast on a Saturday going to my niece's uh, high school graduation. I remember sitting at the graduation ceremony in the very end of the row purposefully so I can like look down at my phone and read about your stuff and do your, in fact, I did the form asking for our first meeting while yeah. my niece was getting her high school diploma. So sorry, Zana, I did watch it, but I did do that as well. So once we once we hired our team, it took us about six weeks to hire and get our team in the door, trained and up and going. That's about that was about four weeks ago when that first happened. And I could not be more impressed with the results that we've seen. So far, our legal assistants are tracking 18 to 20 percent ahead above what historically our attorneys have been doing. And you know what? I've been practicing for over 25 years and I never, ever would have thought this was possible. Never. That I just, I've been resistant to it. The idea was an anathema. It was laughable that a non-attorney could articulate competently enough our services and make it comfortable, a client feel comfortable enough to choose us. I never would have thought it's possible. And one byproduct of this, as I've seen how well this has worked and how responsive your team has been and how like whenever I've got a unique problem that doesn't fit in with the rest of your clients, you've kind of stepped out of your of your day to day and helped me solve that problem. As I've seen that, the the idea of what else am I thinking of? What else am I limiting my belief on that we could actually go out and do as a firm. So it's opened up my thinking to something, to a lot of other possibilities. So um, I'm delighted guys so far, this has been awesome and uh, look forward to seeing what else we could do with, with what you're teaching us and what we're learning and testing on in our end. Well, Jeff, we're, again, we're honored that you chose us and we're, we're honored to walk alongside you and we couldn't be more happy for you guys that we're watching you succeed. Um, and Michael, I think you feel the same way. Absolutely. Very thankful for the opportunity and super exciting to watch you guys continue to flourish with the new structure and excited to see what's to come. Yeah. Can't wait to see what's to come. All right, man. Appreciate you. Cool. Thanks guys. Take care. Thank you. Thanks.